because here's where I'll disagree with you. And and Bruce Feldman and anybody yeah. else who thinks that Urban Meyer would not go to Michigan State just has a level of arrogance about them that they cannot see through. And I'll correlate it back to uh, when John Bacon, many, many years ago, was talking about Jim Harbaugh leaving the San Francisco 49ers and coming to the University of Michigan. No NFL reporter, not Schefter, not Rappaport, not any of these guys, uh, not the local guys in San Francisco, could fathom that this guy who made it to four straight NFC championship games and a Super Bowl and on the cusp of going somewhere else would leave this NFL job in this city for this preeminent franchise in the NFL would leave there to go coach Michigan, the dumpster fire at the time that was Michigan with Brady Hoke. People could not imagine <coughs> that move because there is an arrogance about that the NFL is here and college is here. And maybe in the broader yeah. spectrum of college football reporting, uh, maybe you think that Michigan State is here and no, it's not Texas or no, it's not Ohio State or no, it's not USC. But if you think that Urban Meyer is too good for Michigan State, I got news for you. He's not. He ain't. Because Michigan State, if they ever get their bleep together, right. you know, they, they've they got no president. Their athletic director, as I mentioned, is going to be gone in six months, probably, yeah. when all this Mel Tucker yeah. stuff comes out and he lied that he didn't know this information. Correct. About, right. he, he lied yes. at, at that press conference. He knew what, what the allegation was against Mel Tucker. I'm sorry. But when that comes public, he'll be fired. And the board, we have no, I don't know anything about this board. But if you can somehow, some way, get Urban Meyer to Michigan State, I think it'd be a great thing for, for the, that university, a great thing for Urban Meyer, and a great thing for the Big Ten and college football. What you ended with is not what you started with. What you ended with, I agree with. It would be great for college football. I agree with you on that. It's not arrogance. What it is is you're talking about a guy coming from the NFL going to college. I'm talking about a guy who's already been in college at the highest level. When he chose the SEC, he didn't choose South Carolina. He chose Florida, who arguably has the best cachet in the SEC next to Alabama. He didn't choose uh, Michigan State the first time or Maryland or Rutgers. He chose Ohio State, which arguably has the best cachet. Actually, they do have the best cachet if you look at championships and everything around in recent memory. I'm just looking at it from this standpoint. What is he? Is he going to risk right now as a college coach? NFL coach, he, he was terrible. It didn't work out. It is what it is. But he's not a failure because he's still a success as a college coach. If he wanted to coach again, if he didn't want it to end again, like he wanted to get back at it and want to finish on a better note, why would you go to Michigan State to do it? I'm just asking that. If he wanted to get back into it, why not wait till this Texas A&M job rolls open? They got like Jimbo Fit. Florida's job sucks. Why not go back to Florida? There are other places I would think if you're trying to get back to a place where people can say, oh, that Urban Meyer and respect me. If you come to Michigan State and you win in eight games a year, does that change the cachet of what you did in Jacksonville? Does that change anything? Ryan, I know you say it's not about money. It's about the competition level. Oh, I think it's about money and competition. He's already making eight. He's already making twenty one million dollars a year. Twenty one million dollars a year to sit to sit. Twenty one million. Yeah, it's 13 Jacksonville. from Jacksonville. Oh, 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 oh. Never, yeah. Mind, yeah, never mind. Yeah, never 13 mind. from Jacksonville yeah. and 8 from Fox. Just to sit up there on big game news, I'm talking about, yeah, Michigan State's going to lose. I mean, uh, Michigan's going to lose to Nebraska. He's getting paid $21 million to do that. Well, why he would, obviously stinks at it, so maybe he'd get back to coaching. But why does he want to go to East Lansing and deal with everything? Because all their players are transferring Have out. you been to the campus? I've have been you been, Have you seen their place? But it's what, a gorgeous place. Listen, there are, listen, UCLA is a gorgeous place. I understand that. I don't want to be the coach there. I understand it, but the new Big Ten. Look at the teams coming in. Look at the cachet that this conference, yeah. this conference ain't going to be bowing down to the SEC for we're, long. I promise you that. I agree with you. Actually, I think we're better than them this year, realistically, yeah. or it, it, the same, if you will, maybe a little bit better than they are. But I'm saying this, just what you said, new teams coming to the Big Ten, harder schedules. Why am I coming to put myself in Michigan State where I got to play Penn State, Ohio State? Yeah, I want to beat now, Lincoln Riley. I want to beat Jim Harbaugh. I want to beat, beat these guys. I want to beat Matt Rule. I want to beat these guys. That's a big time. He's also, the Big Ten's got big time college. And coaches. he's also got big time health issues. He's had health issues since he was at Utah. He's also 60 years old now, man. He ain't no spring chicken. 
Like when Jim Harbaugh came to Michigan, Jim Harbaugh was what, 51? Yeah. He ain't six, he's 60 years old. I get it. I get it. I just, at the end of the day, if he goes to Michigan State, then I will stand corrected. I just, let's say if I was Urban Meyer, I couldn't, and maybe that's me. Maybe that's I'm trying to supplant myself in his role. I couldn't see myself leaving that job, leaving the money to go to Michigan State. Listen, I, I, yeah. I, I, I it probably won't happen. Yeah. But I don't think Michigan State is just some crap job. I think they've got a lot of They're people not, with a lot tough. of money, man. Like when you take over Mark D'Antonio no, no, in no, two thousand, when you take over Mark D'Antonio in two thousand seven, and Michigan has Rich Rodriguez followed by Brady Hope, Penn State's on suspension, Ohio State even got on suspension at some point. It's different than now when you're looking at Penn State's a powerhouse, Michigan's a powerhouse. Here comes Washington. Here comes USC. Oh, by the way, Ohio State is still down there floating around. Your old alma mater. If he does come to Michigan State. I think it'll be just to play and beat Ohio State.